Good day and uh, ladies and gentlemen, tonight my name is Dr. Jones, so I want us to go straight into the word of God, the word of life, the word that is God. In the beginning was a word and the word was with God and everything has been created by the word. Who is the word? The word is God himself. And who is God? God is the Word. And uh, what is the Word? Word is God. God is Word. Word is God. Ladies and gentlemen, so right now, thank you very much. Um, I can see people coming. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's continue with the Word of God. Today I want to talk about hate. I want to talk about hate, hatred. Why 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 do we hate each other? What is the problem? Why your family hates you? Why your friends hates you? Why Baba Mazala Bakuzonda? Why Tichomita Bakuzonda? Why your neighbors hate you? What is going on? What is the problem? Why there's hatred everywhere? Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk about hate. I want to talk about hatred. Where did the hatred originate? Rezondo, retaru, queen. Why rezondana? Why people hate each other? Why people they don't like each other? Ladies and gentlemen, stay there. Be tuned. Right now, I want to go straight into the word of God. Thank you very much, Mwana Sira Archbishop. Mwana Sira Archbishop for connecting. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So uh, let's continue, ladies and gentlemen, children of God, wherever you are. So, Elabakuya Shaya Retora Shkwembo, according to uh, Genesis, Genesis um, chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. Uh, anything, Shishwana Shwan, whatever happens here on earth, there's an origin. <laughs> Uh, there's an origin. See, I whatever that happens, see, soon a queen, where did everything happen? Rezon, the room, a queen, resune queen, Azon, Dana, this one hate that one, that one hate. Mabama queen, Abaranza, this one and that one, they don't talk to each other. Bama quelana, Abashamlani, um, Bazon, Dana, Kuna, a natural hatred. Uh, someone hate you from nowhere. Uh, people just hate you because of the way you are, your look. Bangwanyane kukulanguta ntsena, utuwa unsiringa, itwa kuzonda. The way you are, the way you langutek sakso. Ladies and gentlemen, and we cannot be able to change ourselves the way God has created us just to make other people happy. Uh, so, because another person, ulaba nompia me yiri tongo, ngwan ulaba no mwame uru kulu, kumbe uru tongo, ngwan ulaba nlewe ya me yiri nle lokar, ngwan ulaba nere nle lokar, ngwan ulaba nengar na malewe yo basa, ngwan ulaba ne, loko nere na, whatever the people, the way they see us, ne, they don't, people, they, there's a natural hatred, yaku, banu, people, they can hate you because of the way you are, ba ngwan baku zonda because you are very dark, because So let's and gentlemen, where do this all of these things come from? Where do this all of this thing come from? Why we don't like each other, ladies and gentlemen? But they don't like you. But one, they have never even seen you physically. They don't like you. They hate you because... So when people, other people hate you, they transfer hatred from one person to another. If someone say, I don't like that person, and then everyone begin to say, I don't like that person. Why? Why it's... it's we people, are we like that? Why do we live in that way? So, ladies and gentlemen, I want us to go into the word of God. Everything has origin. So, right now, I want us to read according to Genesis. Genesis chapter 4. Geneza chapter 4. 
you are watching me right now. There are people who don't like you. They don't care about you. Whatever you do, sometimes you, you are trying to impress them and they cannot be impressed. Oh, this is a problem. This is trouble. Uh, you might be beautiful. Some people, they don't like you because you are beautiful. Because they think because you are beautiful, you will have too much advantage more than them. Because you are beautiful, um, uh, some of the opportunities, uh, they won't get it themselves. You are the only one who will get the opportunities because when you are beautiful. So, people, they don't hate you because you you are negative or you are ugly or you are bad. They just hate you because of the goodness that you have. Man, man, because ulungile, that person because he's good. So it means he will grab the opportunities more than us because, you know, I long take, we don't look good and all that. So ladies and gentlemen, people, they don't hate you because you are bad. People, they can still hate you when you are a good person. That's why Sungfambela, that's why Kubana this and that. So ladies and gentlemen, let's read according to uh, Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. Now Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain, and said, I have acquired a man from the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, could not this question here confused local in the garden of Eden, you will apply to Adam, who take my hands, I mean, Eva, who take my hands, and you can Adam, even Adam, Adia. Uh, people, they've been confusing this scripture every now and then. Baku, so will I curry? Mohanzo, I curry, it was sex, according to how the people are talking about. So, Mara, it's a different proportion because, look, when we check here, it says, verse 1, Now Adam knew Eve his wife. Le, in the garden of Eden, Eve knew Adam, or Adam knew Eve, because la, logo yugu knew. They slept together. They, they, they had an intercourse. In other words, they had sex. So after sex, they gave birth uh, to to Cain and Abel, Mara logo Isaya from the beginning. When we read from the beginning, it doesn't talk about he knew. It only talks about uh, Eve picked who came hands with then Anika Adam. So, ladies and gentlemen, so let's one thing I confuse. Uh, we should not uh, contradict the scriptures simply because the devil wants us to contradict the scriptures. So, from the first time. Is the first time where I heard the Bible says, Now Adam knew Eve, his wife. He knew her, his wife. In other words, they had the intercourse. In other words, they had sex. So that uh, then Eva, uh, Eve, Uwe Atika, and then she gave birth to these uh, different children. Then uh, she conceived. Yet she conceived Ube Atika Abana Kiri and then she had a child who was a Cain a, a, a Cain. Then continuously Logo Yamashwen verse two it says Then she bore again uh, this time his brother Abel and then now Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. Masuito Akure, these two people, they had different uh, duties. The other one uh, was a tiller of the ground, and the other one was a keeper of sheep. I want you to understand where the jealousy originated. Ladies and gentlemen, Kuvena, uh, a jealousy from the beginning. Jealousy from the beginning. That is where the jealousy started, ladies and gentlemen. One by jealous, people are jealousy of each other because of the duties that they have. Um, someone 
Loi atiraka, someone who is working in hospital can be jealousy of another person, uh, maybe who works uh, uh, in the in the till or wherever. Uh, someone can be a security and be jealousy of another person uh, who works in clinic. Someone who works in the police station can be jealousy of the one who is a doctor who works in um, surgery. Someone who is um, works in the mine uh, maybe can be jealousy of another person who works in home affairs. Someone who works in the garden can be jealousy of the one who works in municipality or in the department. So we people, we become jealousy of each other according to our duties. Because that person thinks that another person works better than him or her. Another person can be working at spa, becomes jealousy of the one who works at pick and pay. Someone can be working one uh, as a, 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 a cleaner in the house. Uh, Mara become a jealousy of another person who works uh, maybe uh, in the municipality or in, as a teacher at school. So we, people are being jealousy of each other because of these different duties that they are doing. So I twenty Kureka Cain and Abel. What happened? When these two people are doing the two different things. And don't remember don't forget Kore. Other people can still be jealousy of each other working in the very same company. That one because it's connected to the boss. So they become jealousy because that other person is connected to the boss. He, he talks to he or she talks to bo boss frequently because another one likes by by God. I mean, Oranzo a boss so very much. Uh, the boss likes him. He sends him. He talks to him. When he talks, the boss laughs. So, ladies and gentlemen. So as we continue to read here, I want you to understand where jealousy comes from as we read uh, genesis 4 verse 3 and in the process of time it came to pass that cain brought an offering of fruit of the ground to the lord cain he was working in the ground then came a time where they are supposed to give offerings to the lord verse 4 abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat. And the Lord respected Abel and his offerings. Listen what the Bible says. The Bible says God respected Abel. God respected Abel and his offerings. Check. Long son, Sukta Jealous. Why now jealousy starts? When we read here, the Bible says, And the Lord respected Abel and his offerings. Hmm. God respected Abel and his offerings. Hmm. I've got my parents. When my parents begin to speak good about me all the time, in front of my younger brother or my sister or my uh, uh, or my brother or my sister or my younger brothers and sisters then at the end of the day ladies and gentlemen those people they no longer look at me in that loving eye that is what happened to joseph when jacob began to love Joseph, what happened to the brothers, the other brothers? They become, they begin jealousy. Basunga kukomba jealousy. Mwi na yu, kwala msamaka kona. Loko misunga kuranza ba na differently, treat them differently. Misunga kwa ya mwana wami na utireka, hey my child, ha. Hey, you, you worked nicely. Hey, so, so, so. 
the other brother or sister is looking at that one with a jealous eye. Unglang say tisho rarazon dokur. Okay, that one is better than me. Ladies and gentlemen. So here, I want you to see where the jealousy started. The jealousy started. Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat. And the Lord respected Abel or Abel and his offerings. Verse 5. But he did not respect Cain and his offering. And Cain was very angry and his countenance fell. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't understand Kuri Kain Usubon Sekuyin Kuri Kuranzwe Abel Kama Ganzel Lama Manga and Leka. Mwina me too. You are too. You are working in the in the same place. Loko lo one ahola, you get your paid, and then lo one asuna kubona kuri hey, luya o le putlamina. He got paid more than me. Kwen lekain jealousy. Mara, it's so amazing how Cain saw it. How how Cain saw Kuri. Abel, God respected him and he loved his offerings. It's so amazing. So Marisa Kuri. Usubon se queen. Kuri. How did God show it? Kuri. He, he liked the offering of Abel. How did Cain saw it? Usubon injan kain kasekat. How did you saw it? So that he became jealousy. Maybe because in the past there was no uh, this kind of, you know, secrecy or uh, everything that God was doing. He was doing it openly. So that is how uh, Cain saw it. Because when God came in the Garden of Eden, he said, uh, Adam, where are you? Then Adam has been able to hear the voice and say, Hey, Lord, I'm here. I'm hiding myself. So there was no secrecy. There was no some kind of hidden things. So that is how uh, Cain was able to see Kuri. Oh, God respected Abel more than himself. So he became, he began, his jealousy thing. He began to be angry. Let us read according to verse 6. So the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry and why has your countenance fallen? Why ukwata and why is your countenance like that? Why up? Why usunagwa angry? Why is so bad serious? Kuen le kaini we kaini. It's because Cain se usboni ni kure. Maganzelia ye his sacrifice was not honored. Then he began asunagwa singa na shikanza. He became angry, and his countenance, his face was mixed up. And God is asking him why. Why are you angry? Why are you angry? Oh, I love the way God was. Because God, he, after when he sees something, he was still going to ask you why. Check the character of God. God is still going to ask you why. Why are you doing what you're doing? Verse 7 it says, if you do well, will you not be accepted? Hey, Cain, look, Aulo and Lalefsne, Shana, Aungata, Amkirwana. Aungata, Amkirwana. Look, Aulo, Mesama Ganze, Lama Nene. If you gave out the good sacrifice, will I not accept you now? Oh, it seems that Cain took off those bed uh, of the fruits and he gave offerings to God, and God didn't like it. Hmm. This is so amazing, ladies and gentlemen. This is so amazing. 
ladies and gentlemen. If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door, and its desire is for you, but you shall rule over it. Shkombu wangu bzela kore, shijoshi menyangwen enesisha gongonza. In other words, God knew what Cain is going to do next because Cain now is jealousy and now he wants to kill his own brother. When people are jealousy of you, what they want to see, they want to see you in the grave. They want to see you dead. Look, when you jealous, zela, but if you want to feel it, you are gone. You disappear. Abala, you are gone. And God realized that now that Cain is jealous, something bad is going to happen because God said, "Now the sin is knocking at the door." After when the people are jealous of you, what they want to see, they want to see you. Gone, dead. Ungarabo ku jela zelanse na they want to see you no more. Aba alab kukwona. And they will come to your funeral. But ata surrender away. They will come to your grave. But aba tawona. They will come to your funeral and see ku indeed are you dead? Ofe ku nene na. Ladies and gentlemen. Verse 8, what happens? Genesis chapter 4, verse 8. Now Cain talked with Abel, his brother. And it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and killed him. Verse 8, now Cain is killing his brother Abel. Why? Because of jealousy. The murder comes after a jealousy. A jealousy. Verse 9, Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is your brother? Wabutisa nakambe shkwembo. Ladies and gentlemen, shkwembo wabutisa. And God is always asking. So in your heart, you feel like someone is asking you a question. Ladies and gentlemen, I took it from here. God asked a question. When you want to do bad, he will ask you, why do you want to do it? When you do something, you want to do it bad, you will hear God ask you, why do you want to do that? And even after you did it, God is still going to, do, to ask you a question. Why did you do it? It's God who is asking. Why did you do it? Why? Hmm? Why now do you want to steal? Why? And after you have stolen, God is still going to ask you, why did you stole? Why weaver? Why? Why did you do that? So verse 9, then the Lord said to Cain, where is Abel your brother? Shana, does this mean that God didn't know what happened? God knew, saw it when it happened. But he's still asking. Which means you, there's a power in your tongue. What you say with your mouth. is very powerful. It's a confirmation. God wanted to confirm when Cain said by his own mouth. So always God will ask you a question just to confirm. Because your tongue is a pen. It's like a pen. Whatever you say, you write. Whatever you are saying, you are stamping in with your own tongue. That's why God will ask you to say it with your own mouth. So now, what happens? God is asking him. He said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? Tuanan kain, ubzala shkwembo ore, I don't know. Kore, makwen abel, ukwen. He doesn't know. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me tell you something. Mabona, uh, these people, Abel, uh, Cain, uh, Adam and Eve, these people, they never been to church, ladies and gentlemen. They have never been preached to or taught by a pastor how to respond, how to speak well, how to 
be respective, how to do this and that. They've never been to church, these people. They've never been taught the word of God. They never, they don't know anything. How, what is right, what is wrong. They've never been taught, these people. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why when God speaks, they answer God anyhow. How can you answer God that I don't know? How can you say I don't know? You did something unless something when Mara logo shikomu shukubuti sa utoko I don't know. And shikwembo wabuti sa Mara shikwembo wabuti sa akar ashtiba ku washtiba ku we unleyi ne Mara still you say I don't know. Why do you say I don't know to God? Is God not a spirit? Is God not everywhere at any time? Hmm? And how can you say I don't know? Verse 10. And he said, What have you done? Shkombu this again. God is asking, What have you done, Abel? I mean Cain. Wendlein. What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. The voice is crying. Ladies and gentlemen, whoever kill another person, that blood is going to cry to Lord, to God himself. If you kill another person, the blood is going to scream, crying out loud to God. Because you took another person's life, hinkar low. Shipwembo, asha alaba kubona mundwe akar ahanya, when you took that person's life. Ladies and gentlemen. So now you are cursed from the earth, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. Your now God is cursing him for what he did. God was going to curse you. Adam was cursed because he sinned. Eva was cursed because she sinned. All of them were cursed. Cain Urukanwin, he was cursed because he sinned. And Zaukuta Omelela saw, and that thing is going to happen exactly the way God said it. And Cain said to the Lord, Okay. When we read verse 12, when, when you till the ground, it shall no longer yield its strength to you. If you give tiv and a vagabond, you shall be on the earth. Verse 13, and Cain said to the Lord, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Verse 14, surely you have... Driven me out this day from the face of the ground. I shall be hidden from your face. I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond on the earth. And it will happen that anyone who finds me will kill me. And the Lord said to him, Therefore, whoever kills Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord said a mark on Cain, lest anyone Finding him should kill him. Ladies and gentlemen, now I have read the word of God till to the end. Ladies and gentlemen, jealousy doesn't pay. And no one will have jealousy unless the devil is after your life. When the devil is ruining your life, you will have jealousy. You will be jealousy of another person. Ladies and gentlemen, you will be jealous. Me as I speak today as Jones, I'm saying this. I have never found myself being jealousy of another person in my life. And I don't want any jealousy to rule my life. Because jealousy will make you a witch. 
because after being so jealous logo jealous so sure when the jealousy is satisfied in you now you want to see that person no more ladies and gentlemen don't be jealous never be jealous in your life because when you Loko ulaba kuba na jealous ulaba ku jealous yuko fuma uta die you will kill you will kill another person even if you say ah no kase kase ish ah in fact he was not supposed to be in that way mara ish you will end up want ways to for that person to be killed at the end of the day if you allow jealousy in your life. You will want that person dead. You will want to see that person dead. People who hate us, they don't want to see us anymore. People who hate you, they don't want to see you anymore. They don't want to see you again. Look back upon our karu hanya. You are disturbing them. And what can we do? to make people not become jealous of us what can we do nothing there's nothing you can do that people do not be jealous of you there's nothing at all that you can do there's nothing just love them mara once you see kore this person is jealous run away run from that person because once someone is jealous of you that person want to see you dead you cannot live with people those who want to see you dead you cannot live around the people those who want to see you dead oh my god unga bamba tele mun loi anga na jealous uko i know go back just you will die you will definitely die they will kill you and they will bury you i'm telling you but lamang banga na jealous ba ku jealous zela ku run away from them run away from them because they will kill you they will want to see you dead but i will let the poison so jane i'm telling you but i will tumbelela but i will die they will kill you If you see your brother next to you, your sister, your relative, someone become jealous of you. Once you see a hint of jealousy in people those who are around you, run. You will die. I'm telling you. Because they know that if you lose something, you might get it again or you might even get better than what they were jealous of before run away from them they are not good for you ladies and gentlemen why there is a jealousy on earth is because the devil hates god with all his heart satan uzonde shikwembo himbele yenkwa satan he hate god he hate god like nobody's business so if someone is possessed with the devil that person is supposed to hate god is supposed to hate you as the child of god they will hate you munloi anga na madimon eta ku zonda like nobody's business so now if you feel that the hatred the, the 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 jealousy is knocking in your heart do something about it pray to god me na i'm talking about myself when i feel that somewhere somehow uh, i feel like i want to be i'm tempted to be jealous of some some kind na tla no in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth jealousy leave me alone jealousy is a demon jealousy is a demon that controls people jealousy is a demon that is ruling in people's life that, that that demon hates god hates people of god ladies and gentlemen 
If you feel like you've got this jealousy, this hatred, pray and say in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me tell you something. Né? The devil is afraid of you. The devil is afraid of us. When you just say so simple and say, leave me alone, you devil. The devil will leave you. That's why loko yesu are ntabeni akar avula vula yesu angaku hey so kakami na satan hey you devil away from me away from me away. no yesu avula vula kasha ku you devil leave me onga tsuku ringa osish komisha we do not tempt the lord your god so now where if you feel like what you feel someone is talking inside you and it's not right. Just say, you devil, leave me. Leave my life in the name of Jesus. He will leave you as simple as that. That's why the Bible says in uh, uh, James, resist the devil and he shall flee. Logo Satan, mong alela, he shall flee. Eta balek amsiya, Satan. And I go, me alela satana, I go, hey, you devil, leave me, leave my life, leave me, leave my family. Um, zela kase, with authority, and say, you devil, leave me, my life, my family, my children alone, in the name of Jesus, with authority. Don't fight like a stupid, don't fight like a, like a weak person. Fight the devil with authority. Leave me alone. Leave my life alone. And he shall flee according to James. What the Bible says. So ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that is where the story began. People hate each other. Presidents, they don't like each other. That one, another. Some of the people, they hate the population. That's why now there is this and that. The sickness, the virus, they are all of these things. Oh, because someone doesn't like that one. Someone doesn't like. People of the other countries, they don't like Africa. Some of the other places, they don't like Nigeria. They don't like Zimbabwe. They don't like Mozambique. And some of the other people, when you are from Mozambique, it's just like you are a caste. As long as you come from Mozambique, you are just a curse to other people. Mozambique, they don't like you. They don't want to be associated with you. Mara Mozambique is just a country. They don't want to associate. They don't like you. They speak bad about you. Ah, oh, Mama Mozambique. Mara Molwe Aumako in another places, maybe like um, Cameroon or like Zambia, Nigeria. They don't talk in that way. Like a person who is from Mozambique. So it's spirit of hate. So, ladies and gentlemen, as I'm closing right now, let us go and pray. Let's God the Father brings the spirit of love in our lives. Even though the people that we love cannot love us the way we do. Some of the other people, when you're busy loving them, they are busy hating you. So there's nothing we can do but let us pray. pray. Let us pray for those people so that God may fill them with love. So that God may fill them oh, with repentance. The way we are living is not right. Let us change. People of God, the reason now there's war from country to country, planets, in a continents war. Now people, countries are fighting with viruses. Uluwa iti virus, uluwa iti this and that is because of hate and jealousy. The country that is more civilized and richer is inferior. Let's talk arala kuturiwa. Tikorungwa logorbona, tikorungwa resunguna kudevelopa, they become jealous. So ladies and gentlemen, right now, let us go and pray. Oh my God, in the wonderful name of Jesus. We don't want to live in hate. We don't want jealousy in our hearts. In the name of Jesus. If I once had jealousy, if I have this jealousy, Lord, please remove it 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this jealousy inside me, inside that brother who is watching me right now, that sister who is watching me, if we've got this kind of a demon, this kind of a jealousy, Lord Jehovah, remove it away from us. We don't want to have jealousy again. We don't want to kill our brothers and sisters because of this kind of jealousy. We don't want to hate our neighbors. We don't want to hate our brothers and sisters. Save us, Jehovah Jireh, from this kind of jealousy. Oh God, heal your land. Bless all of us. Bless our countries. Brothers and sisters. Oh God, in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Oh, the demons are after that person's life. They are after our brothers and sisters. The demons of hate. Longwana shaba mova. As someone has this and that. We become jealousy. Jehovah help us. We don't want to live in jealousy. Remove this kind of jealousy in our country, in our land, in our village, in our locations. Holy Spirit. On, on YouTube and on Facebook and all social medias, let's go to deliver us from this kind of jealousy. Oh God, so that we may live with love. Lord, deliver love in our lives. We love each other and we know that you are Jehovah. You are our God who wants us to live peacefully, happy for each other, con congratulate each other when we prosper. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, there is someone amongst you who say, I'm not born again. I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Christian. My life is so confused. And I don't like the way I'm living. You are there. You don't like that life you are living. You don't want to live that way anymore. So you want Jesus. Olaba Yesu abtongonzawe. Olaba ko amkela Yesu. Olaba ko ponesiwa. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to follow me in this prayer right now. Follow me in this prayer as we are going. Logo nuku shkwembo na we utaku shkwembo. Tan salan zakuka this prayer. After this prayer, ladies and gentlemen, you are born again. You are saved. You will be a child of God. We are born again. I'm born again. I'm a child of God. I'm delivered. I'm washed by blood of Jesus. So just right now by this moment. So ladies and gentlemen, let's continue. Let's pray right now. Me and you. Uh, let's pray this prayer of salvation. Yungkweru. Follow me in this prayer. Say what I'm saying. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me by the blood of Jesus. I receive you, Jesus Christ, as my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart. Come into my life. Make me new creature. Make me new born again. I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. And that God, you raised Jesus from the dead. I receive the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jehovah. Because you said in your word that by believing in Jesus, I'm a new creation. I'm born again. I'm now in your family. I thank you for this gift of the Holy Spirit and of salvation. Write my name in your book of life. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, know that from today, you are a child of God, you are born again, you are wonderful, you are awesome, you are beautiful when you are a woman, you are handsome when you are a man. God bless you everywhere you are. 
till we meet next time my name is dr jones and this is life online thank you god bless you everywhere you are till we meet next time remain blessed shalom amen